Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So let's say you've got a conical tank here. The uh, the height of this cone here, the height of this cone here is eight meters. The uh, the radius of this cone here is four meters. Um, the, you're filling it up with water. So the rate at which the water is coming in is two meters cubed per second. So what what this two thing here means is is this. Um, it's like you having uh, a uh, on a cube here, one meter, one meter, one meter, and you've got two of these cubes um, of water get getting dumped into into this this tank here every second. But don't forget, it's it's doing it continuously. So it's the water uh, the water is flowing through this tap um, continuously at a constant rate. Okay. Um, the uh, the question is. Um, what, what is the height? What, what is the how fast is, is it rising when it's at three meters high? Okay, so so when the water level is at three meters here, uh, how fast is, is it rising? So what you've got here, you in a way what you've been given here is dv by dt because v is like the volume of water coming in uh, per unit time, and then uh, when when it when it is at um, Three meters. How high? How fast is it climbing vertically? So, so this. So, what, what, what I'm asking here is, I'm asking for dH by dt because, um, the, the, so, so you can call this h here the height. Okay. So, so how fast is it rising uh, vertically? So, when you fill it, when you fill this tank up with water, you see, what, when you first fill it up, it rises really fast. But then, when it gets to around here. Uh, it rises really slow. The question is, how fast is it rising when it is at a level of three meters high? Okay, so so what I'm asking for is uh, dH dH by dt when the water is level when the water level is at three meters. Okay, when this is three meters. Okay, so this is given. So accept this. This is the volume of a uh, a cone. So press pause and uh, and have a go. Remember. I'm, ask, I'm, I'm asking for dH by dt. Okay, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this here, hang on. So to do this here, dV uh, dV by dt is given to us. It's two here. Okay, but let's let's try and let's try and understand what's going on here. Hang on. We, so we've got a we've got a cone here. If, if you cut this in half, if you cut this in half, it will give you this picture here. Okay, so hang on. So the water is coming in, and uh, so uh, so the water is coming in, and uh, and the the it, it w the height will increases really fast at first, but then the height slows down. So what you've got here is um, what you've got here is h is a function of time. Okay, because ultimately we want uh, dh by dt. Okay, so so h here, so um, h is the the height of the uh, the height of the, the uh, water as it's, as it's being filled. Um, R here, so so R here is a uh, well when you when when it's being filled up with water, R is really a function of time. So so you can see that R. So so far we've got H is a function of time, um, and then we've got uh, R here, the radius here. R here is a function of also a function of time. And v, the volume of of the water here, is also a function of time. So bear that, bear this in mind, because um, as time goes on, uh, v is a function of time, h is a function of time, r is also a function of time. Okay. So hang on. Uh, so so the volume of a um, the, the 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 volume of this cone is given by this. But the thing is, you you've been given in a way you've been given d dv by d, um, d dt and you want to know d, uh, dh by dt the thing is you don't really care about the radius you want to somehow get rid of this radius you you, you don't really care about the radius you you just you're you're, you're just after uh, you're just aftering this thing here you're after dh by dt you don't care about the radius so you looking at this here you need a way to get rid of the radius you need. You don't really care about the radius here. You need some sort of thing that will connect volume with the height. Okay. You, you you need something that will connect the volume to the height here. Well, if you look at this diagram here, 
If you look at this diagram here, um, the uh, uh, the if if you look at this diagram here, um, the ratio. Well, you, you you need a way to get you need a way to get rid of this radius here. So if you look at the ra uh, the ratio, uh, this divided by divided by. But, well, don't forget this whole length here is eight. So if you look at the ratio, four over eight will always be the same as as r over h. So so what that means is as as you're filling it up with water, this thing here rises, the water level here rises. So it rises here. But the thing the the thing is the ratio will always be the same. So so this at the start is uh, four over eight. Well, as the water rises. This h here also rises, but then the, the the r the radius also increases. So, but but the thing is, the ratio will, will always be the same. Okay, so so you can make this statement here. Um, well, you need a way of getting rid of the radius. Um, there, there's some sort of connection when when you look at the uh, the volume and uh, and the height. There's some sort of connection between the volume and the height. You don't need to go through the the radius. You can just Bypass the radius. It's a bit like you looking at a circle. If I if I were to give you the circumference, you can work out the area, um, the the area of this circle. Uh, but it, the the thing is, you when, when given the circumference, you normally have to work work out the radius first, and then from the radius, you can then jump to um, to the area. My point is that it is possible to to get from the circumference straight to the area. Uh, without going through R, in, in a way, without going through R, so you can just jump from from circumference to uh, to A, or you can jump from A to the circumference uh, without going through R. Well, in effect, you are, but you you can in a way you you can bypass the R. Okay, so going back to here, when given the volume here, you you've got a volume and you've got the uh, the the H. You don't. You're trying to get rid of the uh, the radius, so you can. You, you need to find a way to bypass the radius, and the way you do that is um, is to look at this. Is to look at this. Um, sorry, uh, is to look at this triangle here. So if you look at the ratio, um, four four over eight, right right from the so so this cone here, four over eight. The height is eight. Okay, it, it will always be this. So as you as you're filling up with water. This R increases, the H also increases, but the ratio will always be the same. Okay, so so this the ratio will always be the same. So looking at this here, I, I know it's quite strange. This is your key step here. It's hard to understand this this step here. You you, you probably have to pause it and think it through. Anyway, once you're here, once you're here, um, times both sides, but well, simplify it so it will be two over, uh, sorry, a one. Uh, one over two equals r over h uh, times both sides by um, well basically r equals h over two. Okay, so r equals h over two. So now you can put this into this thing here. So when you put it in, into here, so this is our r here. Okay, this is our r here. Uh, we've got to square it. We've got to square it, uh, and then times it by eight. Well, well, well one, once you're here. Uh, you can jump to here, and once you once you've got your radius, you can put it into here. That will then take you to here. Okay. Um, so hang on. So once you're here, tidy it up, uh, tidy up, blah blah blah. Uh, that will then take you to here. Now use implicit differentiation. Remember that v is a function of time. Uh, h is a function of time. And by the way, r is also a function of time, but we we uh, we don't care about this. We are we are after uh, dh by dt, uh, and we were given dv by dt. We don't care about the radius, so so forget about the radius. So once once you're here, once you're here, use imp implicit differentiation. Bear in mind that v is a function of time, h is a function of time. So when you differentiate it, it will give you this. Uh, dv by dt and differentiate this so so this gets multiplied down here that will then give you this the power itself gets minus by one but because age is a function of time then you've got to stick in this dh by dt okay and then uh, tidy up it will then give you this tidy up um, uh, 
that that will then take you to uh, sorry hang on uh, yeah so sorry hang on let's start again you're currently here use implicit differentiation that will then take you to here tidy up it will then take you to here now if you can remember the, we, the question was um, find how fast that it's rising when when it is when the height is three okay so so at this precise moment in time when when uh, when the height is three well when the height is three you can put the three into here now at that precise moment in time we want to know at the precise moment in time we want to know dh by dt at this precise moment when when the height is three we want to know dh by dt so let's 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 put this into the h here because we want to know it we want to know dh by dt at that precise moment in time when the height is three so when the height is three put the three into the height here that will put it into here and then it will uh, it will take you to here okay don't forget this here was given to us the uh, the rate at which the water is coming into the cone is uh, is two okay so blah blah, blah dh by dt equals this okay equals this here so when what that means is when 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 um, well d, dv by dt is given to us as two so what that means when when the height here is at three when the water level is three meters above above the bottom part here um the rate the the, the rate at which it's rising vertically is given by this okay okay uh, meters per second okay